Yo, what's up guys? This is Minecraft Worldmine, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Shaders mod um, for 1.7.10, the newest version of Minecraft currently. This will work for uh, later versions or lower versions, you're just going to have to get the, uh, the download. So for instance, if you want the 1.7.2 version, you're going to need the 1.7.2 version of Forge the GLSL shaders, uh, which is the mod itself, and Optifine if you want that installed also, and of course the shaders pack itself. So uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to go into the uh, description, and there will be three downloads. One for Optifine, it is optional, you do not need it, but it does give you better um, FPS, so basically it gives you less lag while you're running the shaders mod. Uh, and there will be a link for the shaders mod, and there will be a link for the current um, shaders pack that I'm going to be using, there will also be a link in the description for um, other shaders packs for 1.7.2 and above. Uh, this is for 1.7.2, but it will work for 1.7.10. Uh, like I said, there will be other versions or other resource packs from 1.7.2 all the way to 1.7.10, just uh, you know other varieties, so you don't have to use the lagless shaders mod. Uh, pack. So once you have done that, um, here I'll just show you first. Uh, this is the shaders mod itself. Uh, just scroll down and go to 1.7.10, click one of the download links. There are also... Uh, actually, no, never mind, I won't do that. Um, and the second one should be here. Yeah, here we go, the lagless uh, shaders. It, it says it's a mod, but it's actually uh, a mod like it's a shader, that's what it is. Uh, so just scroll to the bottom and click the download, and like I said, it's currently for 1.7.2, but it will work. Once you've done that, go to your Windows button and type percent app, oops, app data percent. Click the roamings folder. And also, I do want to say this, um, all you have to do, uh, a lot of people are confused, this is for Forge 1.7.10, you do have to use Forge 1.7.10, there will be a link in the description um, on how to install Forge 1.7.10, and the, uh, there will also be a download link provided in that uh, video that uh, will be in the description, uh, so I just want to say that, uh, then go to your .minecraft folder, uh, click that. As you can see, I do have a backup, so you might want to back up just in case. I, whenever I install new mods, I always back up my .minecraft, my entire .minecraft folder, um, just in case it crashes and you lose your world or something like that. So what you want to do, uh, sometimes, like I said, if you've never installed Forge before, sometimes you won't have a mods folder. So what you want to do is, if you don't have a mods folder, right click, go to new, click folder, and then just name it mods, it has to be lowercase, it is cap sensitive. So once you have done that, go into the mods folder, and just put these over here, and put in the, opt like I said, you don't uh, if you don't have to have the Optifine um, mod, but it is recommended if you do not have a good computer. So just drag the GLSL shaders mod, and the Optifine mod, like I said, both of these have to be 1.7.10. If you have like 1.7.9 Optifine or 1.6.4 Optifine and 1.7.10 um, shaders, it will not work. So that's that's another thing. So just drag those two in there. Once it's in there, go back in the dot Minecraft. And I am 99% sure. Or I'm not. I'm pretty positive that there will be. A uh, a shaders pack. If there's not a shaders pack, like I said, do the exact same thing like you did with the mods um, folder. Uh, just go to new folder and then name it shaders pack. All lowercase, no spaces. Go into it and as you can see, I already have uh, shaders packs in here. Like I said, there will be a link in the description for other shaders packs uh, besides the lagless shaders that I'm currently using in this tutorial. Drag. All you gotta do is drag this into here. And then you're done. Now, just you can leave this open if you want to. Go into your Minecraft. And another thing, if you've never installed uh, Forge before, if you have no idea, you've never installed mods before, anything like that, um, uh, what, what you're gonna do is um, basically it's it makes a new profile for you. At the moment, I'm on my default profile, which is Gold Mine. I renamed it. Uh, click the profiles, and it'll make a Forge profile. Click that, and for me, it instantly put it to Ready to Play Minecraft 1.7.10 uh, Forge. 
most likely, uh, like I said, if you've never installed Forge before or you just installed 1.7.10 Forge, it'll not show up like that. So what you want to do, you want to go to Edit Profile. It'll, you'll see Use Version, and then uh, you should be at the very top. Like I said, if you've never installed Forge in your life, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see 1.7.10 Forge. I have a lot of other Forges. Just ignore those. Like I said, if you've never installed it, you're fine. So just click it, and then click Save Profile, click Play, and it'll load it up. Now, again, if you don't have a good computer, it may take some time to um, to load, and um, sometimes it might crash because uh, 1.7.10 Forge is in beta, as you can see in here. Warning: Forge beta. Major issues may arise. Verify before reporting. Now, just uh, to show if, uh, that Forge is working in the bottom right, you can see Minecraft Forge is there, three mods loaded, and there's a mods tab. Click the mods tab, you can see Optifine's loaded. Now, I actually got confused at one time. I was like, what the heck? It was only for like two seconds, though. So, um, I was like, wait, uh, my shaders didn't install. Now, to make sure that your shader is installed, just click options, and you can see right here, uh, language should be the full length as all these other buttons but as you can see shaders is here so just click that and you should be it should be highlighted as none just click the uh, the shaders that you want and then just click done so I'm going to go into one of my worlds Let's just go into this world okay yeah this is let me actually get it because that's the twilight forest thing so let's just go to let's go to this world why not and um, okay so there's no shader no nothing and let's go to options shaders and let's use the uh, the one that I that you guys that's in the description that I showed or that I installed in the beginning of the tutorial god English please <laughs> so we'll click that and as you can see it's loaded and it says in the title shaders initialized and that's basically it I mean that's that's basically it you can also use your texture pack I'm using my fan texture pack that someone made for me um, so I have the fan texture pack on while uh, while I have the shaders pack on so that's also a plus and um, yeah so hopefully this gave you a better understanding of the uh, mod itself and how to install it if you did have a problem please rewatch the video because obviously it did work for me so it you probably just might have installed the wrong, you might have downloaded the wrong version of the mod or the wrong version of Forge or something like that. So, um, <laughs> hopefully it worked for you. If it did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mod reviews, how to install videos, and other fun Minecraft videos like that. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. This is Minecraft Goldmine, and I'm out.